Okay, so a let's test for the difference between a nitrate and a nitrite. So what I do have here is I have the two white powders. Now I'm going to do it in two different ways. I'm going to take some of it out and dissolve it in ammonium uh, um, sodium hydroxide. Just get the out. So we basically separate it in two. My nitrate and my nitrite. Well obviously you can't see which one is which. I know which one is which. Um, and that's fine because this is the whole point of it to distinguish between it. Well, I'll tell you whether it worked or not. But this is probably going to not do very well. Let's do this. Then we have some Right. And there we go. And let's just put some more in there. And that's fine. So and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some sodium hydroxide to it. So this is more or less the bottle that you will also have during your next exam. And uh, two things. The test for this is dissolving it in sodium hydroxide and uh, we can do this a bit just it's supposed to be clear but okay clear solution okay so there we go. This is more or less what we expected. I actually you used this in a previous experiment just now for the heating. But what happens now is that on heating this it should liberate ammonia gas. So let's ignite our flame. And then see what we can get. All right. So again, blue litmus paper. No, sorry, red litmus paper turning blue because it's ammonia. Ammonia is an um, basic gas, so we need to take a red litmus. This is really important that you do know that. So, and remember always when heating, it's at an angle. You don't want to aim it at someone, so preferably not to. Well, interesting, look at the moisture there, so there's some water vapor coming off. Let's heat it some more, see what's happening. So we are looking to see whether this is getting, oh, look at that, oh, my goodness. So it's got a low boiling point there. Hmm. Let's just test for. You see that can shoot out quite nasty, but it, it can be quite a mess in that sense. Oh, do you know what? I forgot something. There needs to be aluminium foil in there. That's why it's not working. <gasps> shoot. So that's what happens if you don't add the right substance, if you don't read your test, or if you don't know your work.
Oh, okay. So now that gas will produce a they look at it. Now immediately the liquid turns blue. Okay, so it's heating it with sodium hydroxide and with a piece of aluminium foil in it. Right, we did. And that indicates that the substance is either uh, a nitrate or nitrite. So let's just see whether this gives me the same type of test. And it should. Uh, again, you would notice that that moisture, there's some uh, water vapor immediately forming on the side over there. And let's just test this, and you can see, wow, what a brilliant positive test immediately that you get. Okay, so we want, want to do that for too long. The next thing is we need to distinguish which one is a nitrate and which one is the nitrite. Let me just put off the flame. And this we do by adding adding concentrated, oh, sorry, dilute nitric acid, not concentrated. Concentrated is going to be quite uh, strong. So let's do this and let's see. Oh, look at that. We have got immediately this reaction. All right, so it fizzes, it dissolves, and it gives us a uh, brown gas. The other one fizzes and gives nothing. So which is which? Well, the one that gives us the brown gas, which is the nit uh, nitrogen dioxide gas, is my nitrate. The other one is my nitrite. So this is how we distinguish between the nitrate and the nitrite. Okay, hope that was insightful.